Hi, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Carrie Psychic Cafe. I am Carrie Ann Hartley Sokowski, um, and it's a beautiful Sunday night. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and actually tuning in and spending your hour with us here tonight. Um, it takes a lot to do so, and I, and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts here at Carrie Psychic Cafe. Um, Saturday night, you know, Sunday night is a great night um, to just sit back, kick back, listen to the show, call in. Um, you could chat in the chat room. Tom's up in the chat room tonight, so everybody say hey to Tom. Um, and we're going we're gonna to kick it. We're going to rock it tonight. Uh, and, and I just wanted to say, I have to stop saying um, so I'm going to count every time because last show I had like almost 100 um, so I must be a nervous thing. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's do the rules. Okay, ready. Now, I know that we have newbies in here, and I want to say thank you, and everybody who's gotten somebody to come in, I want to say thank you, too, and all everybody that's been with me for the show from the beginning, I want to say thank you to that. Uh, the rules are one question, not like a whole page, but one question. Um, if you're looking like this on the chat, uh, then we have a problem, okay? If it's that long, then you so, so, so need a reading, all right? And um, you could get a reading by going and clicking above my head and... Um, Click on it and go to web request and uh, pick out your services and uh, web request me. Um, I l look forward to helping out everybody that I can tonight. And I wanted to just say in loving memory of um, the show also dedicated to my father, John Hartley. Um, I lost my father when I was 16 years old and he's been more and more frequently with me. And um, he's joined my team of guardian somewhat and I wanted to say thanks to my father I never really had a relationship with him and he's uh, brought my aunt to be with me very close my aunt Joan which you'll see her in the room and I want to say thank you to all my family for supporting me and Tom and uh, Amnon for helping me out too and Nick is on the phone our number here tonight is different it's 323-792-3050 you'll see me look up above it's 323-792-3050 I rocked you's huh uh, yes, one question. And then, look, if we, we get to everybody's question, then we'll get to the second question. All right? So we have to be fair to everybody. Again, it's 323-792-3050. Tom's going to put that in the chat room. Also, I wanted to say that the show tonight is dedicated to a very, very special guy that I'm trying to find so deeply. And I need the police department, and I need the big guy in order to help me out in order to get there to do so. His name is Kyle Frank Tolley. It's Kyle Frank, T-O-L-E-Y. Kyle has been missing from August 18th, 2001 in Pine Flats, Hot Springs, Idaho. Uh, we kind of know right now that he's alive. And from what we did readings and what we did with Lily and Tina is in the room tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we want to dedicate also the show to him. We want to know if anybody knows any information regarding that place. Again, it's in Pine Flats, Hot Springs, Idaho. Um, he was taken and abducted on August 18th. Now, I do know the gardens have told me he's in a house. He's in Wisconsin. He's in a house. And I see it. I know where it is. I, I got it. I got the fields and everything. But they didn't tell me um, exactly who his abductor was. And I was getting ready for the show tonight. And um, I want to let you know that uh, a name came up, and his name is, and it would be um, probably a great part of uh, this investigation once they hear it, his name is Stephen Knowles. And um, we need to investigate this. We need to get dead on. I believe that's the, that, the I will honestly say that that's probably um, who we have to go. And once you find out where they are, we can get Kyle and the two others. Um, there's a boy, and there's a woman and a, and a guy in there, and um, they actually, um, it is uh, infested with, um, with, with a lot of drugs, and there's trafficking, and there's a lot of things made there. So again, um, our number here is 323-792-3050, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some questions, anything else here that we do. Um, again, thank you for joining us, and let's just rock it, okay? Uh, we're going to take some chat questions. I think we confused everybody I'm done with the number tonight. Tom, you going to roll it there? Well, I can tell you one thing. There are four people waiting, but I don't know who they are yet. Well, they, yeah, we have the first one if you want to talk. Do you want me to do that and then do chat? That's up to you. Okay. We'll do it. We'll take a call. All right. So talk awesome. to talk to Tina. Oh, Tina's on the phone. Hey, Tina. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> How are you? Tonight's for Kyle. I'm great. How are you? I'm awesome. I got the name, I believe, of the abductor. So the Guardians told me oh. it today. And what was that? Yeah. The um, name? I believe I name? just said it before. Yes, yeah, Stephen Knowles. Yeah, I. if you can write it down, that would be great. And we need to investigate these okay. people. Okay. Um, 
yeah, it's more clearer today. So obviously Kyle's been with me for, um, his spirit guide's been with me for, and my guardians have built me on it for the next couple of days and last couple of days. And um, I want to just throw it out there that if anybody have had a missing person or anything homicide case that they need to be done, that I do that. So um, how's everything going, Tina? I know life is hard for you, but uh, we're going to get them. Uh, yeah, well, I totally believe that because um, the Ritchie County Police Department or Sheriff's Department called me the other night and told me that they, their search team had found some type of remains and not it's to not be surprised fire. if they called me the next day and told me that it was him. And they called me the next day and told me, no, it wasn't him. Nope. And I'm like, it's I know. I know. <laughs> you guys are looking in the wrong place. Yeah. They need to, like, call. They need to, like, the big guy needs to actually reach out and, and actually acknowledge this and know this is real. So right. I just right. want I just want to help get him because there's other two people there and we don't get it soon enough. I don't want something else to happen. So that's why I'm doing right. tonight. Anybody that knows anything, anybody that feels anything and anything like that, um, I think that Lil's going to post some things in the website today uh, and that they can call and contact the sheriff's department over there and uh, let's get this rocking. Let's get them home. Let's okay. Get them home. So, yeah. so would it do any good for me to call the, the police department in Oak, Oak Creek? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I will do that then. Yeah, we need to we need to get we need to move on this before something else happens. So that's yes. what I'm concerned yes, about. Right, so we right. need to really, really. And I knew that they were in his remains. He's alive. You know, okay. I do this for but tell him I do this for a living. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Well, that's know. what I kept trying to tell him, you know, and right. he said, well, man, my big boss is well, let me talk to her. So, <sighs> yeah, I know. I know they get afraid of people <laughs> like me because I tell the truth. So, right. Um, right. But we'll see. We'll, thank we'll you see. So you know what? We'll, we'll just keep on rocking. Okay, we will. You know? <laughs> and Kyle's, if there's anything you need us to do from this end, just let me know. All right, Tina. Thank you so much for calling in. And keep on the chat. Let everybody know what we're looking for, what we're dealing with. Okay. And the more people we reach out there, because it all goes all over the place, the more, you know, we can bring Kyle home. All right? Okay. Okay. Thank you, love. Keep on rocking. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, we have um several questions already in the chat uh that uh we are gonna do. So I'm going to also oh, I have to say real quick before we do that, um you need to everybody like my new public page. It's up to four hundred and seventy seventeen likes and it just started last week. So that's good. Like the page, please. And I wanna welcome all my new members and friends who have joined me tonight. Um and again, you want a reading? You need a reading, click above my head, go to my website. I have awesome. I have a Facebook at Carrie Ann Hartley Sokowski, and my Twitter's at Carrie Psychic. Um, so I've done that for Tom tonight. And uh, so we're ready to rock. You're welcome, Tom. All right, and then I'll go to the questions from the public page. I'm done. Liz, Liz, Liz wants to know what's the name of my guardian? Does my father who's passed look out for me? Hey, Liz. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I'm bringing up an Ed or an Edward, and they said to me like, "That's not. Um, that's your guardian, and um, he actually comes in from a distant relative. Whether you want to know on your family tree, but his name was something. It's. I call him. Thank you. All right. I call him his first name, but what was his middle name? Just so you know. And yes, you. All right. One question. Okay, and and yes, your father is. But the, the problem, Liz, is that. You need to like you need to like settle down and relax and bring back who you are and bring back yourself to face, okay? Because a lot of stuff is going around and you got a lot on your shoulders right now. And Dad wants to help and he, and, he, and he is watching you, but there's also another family member that's going through some kind of junk in there. So you need to really like focus and like get yourself less stressed. Is uh, what uh, Dad wants to say. And he, I love you, Bear. That's what he says. I love you, Bear. All right. Uh, thank you, Tom. Okay, so let's keep rolling. Um, Angel Booth, I, uh, well, this is a long one. So shall we take a phone call before we do Angel Booth? Yes, Booth's? absolutely. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and talk with Nate? Hey, Nate. Hi. I, I have been uh, a, a very uh, confused um, in terms of, of a um, uh, 
uh, relationship. And so if there's any info on that, because I met this uh, girl, however, uh, she is uh, very uh, flaky and whatnot, and I'm, I'm just... Uh, very... so, so, so she's a, so she's like a, she's like a, she's, she, I, I wouldn't say that the word is flaky. I'd say that the, the word is ADHD and a little bit of ADD. Um, but I will say that the guardians state that you should, um, if you're going to pursue this relationship, you're going to have to have an understanding of, fa- of faith and trust because she has, she has some kind of little bit of a past that you got to watch out for. So you need to really have a strong sit down. Thank you. You have to have a long sit down with her and discuss about trust, trust and honesty. Do you understand? Yeah. Well, and a question on that because, like, um, uh, do they feel uh, 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 she um, uh, is a, a good uh, fit? All right. Or slow I down. Should, should slow down. Slow else. down. Right. Okay. All right, Amlon. Can you can you can you repeat that again? But slow down when you say it. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. um, is uh, she a uh, good uh, fit? Right. Um, she is. She is okay fit. There's somebody else that's better fit. But I think being with her will okay. take you to the next level and be with somebody else. And the next girl's name is the next. The person that in your life is name would be Laura or Lauren. Just so you know. All right. The guardians okay. are like, you just, you just have to remember some, you're a great, great person and you don't have to be taken advantage of, and you don't have to be like, you don't have to be treated that way, you know? And uh, she's not flaky. She has some kind of, she has some kind of issues going on. Um, so I just, I just want you to understand that. Okay, love, you know? Okay. All right. And, all right, honey. And um, I will talk to you soon. Call back to show next week. And if you want, you could book a reading, go above my head and we could get into it deeper to find out who that real person is. All right. He's gone. All right, great. Uh, 323-792-3050. So it's all going up in there. And uh, I have to read this. This is from Angel Boo, okay? This is from Angel Boo. Ready? Everybody prepare yourself. I am in need of guidance. I'm confused about my current situation. I'm 44 and want to, and want to be a mother. I hear you. My partner is 53 and does not want to have children. He has had two children and does not want to give me a child. He doesn't even want to support an adoption other than the option that he has undergone. That's that to me. Thank you. Uh, 20 plus years ago. I know the solution may seem obvious, but I have to be wanting a long for a good relationship. Thank you. Hey, Angel Boo. Okay, uh, Rhea. Listen, I want to... Thank you. All right, so we're going we're gonna to hit this. Look, at, I want to tell you something. You're going to have to seriously, seriously consider um, a negotiation tactic with your husband. I understand you want a great relationship, but he's done, been there, done that, and has all the kids' situation. I would accept the fact, thank you, I would accept the fact that if you did an adoption, would it be of a, not a baby baby, but like of a child like maybe over four or five that really needs a home, uh, I wouldn't expect. I wouldn't expect him to want to go through. I think it's, thank you. The guardian's just saying it's about the baby age. It's about the, the crying and all that other diaper crap. He doesn't want to go through that because he's done his thing. So I would suggest to you um, to strongly, strongly reconsider and reevaluate um, the age that you present to him. That's what I say. Um, also, there's a lot of issues going on with that relationship. So if you could just click above my head, uh, go to the website and um, decide if you're going to book a reading or not, because I'd like to get into it further and find out where we're going to go with the adoption, because I could help you with all that. Um, again, just click above my head and you could uh, web request and we can get this situated. And I could pop. Thank you. I will. The guardian say that they could help you actually tell him and say the right things to him. A lot of people ask me what to say and they say it and it works out. So, uh, three, two, three, seven, nine, two, three, Oh, five, Oh, again, book the reading. All right. Um, one more question. So do we have another phone call? Am? Oh yes. Go ahead and talk with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you? Hi, Carrie. I am doing wonderful. I'm so excited to talk to you. Oh, I'm so excited to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. What's up, girlfriend? Well, let's see. I have been going through quite a rough time lately. Um, In the past couple of years, I've been trying to go, yeah, for for the past couple of years, I've been trying to go full time at my job, and um, I haven't been successful. And I'm just wondering if you see me going full time where I'm at. Um, like in the near future, like in September, uh-huh. <laughs> or I don't know what what's going on with me. 
Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just sum it up for you. Okay, thank you. Um, they said number one, you're switching, you're, you're switching, and you might even switch a little bit of the um of what you're doing, um, and you also need to more or less brand and market yourself a little bit better, um, and tweak a little bit about how you go about speaking with superiors because sometimes you're just such a smart person. You're so smart. I'm just telling you, you're like really smart, hmm. and you could be doing much more with yourself and your career. Uh, you take after the mother side of your family also, just so you know, and genetically, I wanna tell you, and I don't wanna scare you, but you need to get a mammography done. Only because there's a small little thing that you're saying in the left side of you, right in, underneath your lymph though, that's very, very tiny, but it's not anything to worry about, but it could get larger. So can you please do that for me? I certainly will, yeah. Thank you, yes. thank you. Yes. I could, the okay. guardians are always on the key with that. Thanks. So, but, which, no, no, don't, don't okay. go yet, don't go yet. Okay. Um, okay. I'm okay, not good. done. Um, they're, they're not done with you. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go. Um, they want okay. you to pursue. They want you to pursue. Um, also going to more of a of a type of a schooling event and everything. And what's what are you what, when it comes to the medical? What do you do for what do you do for a living? Because they got you doing three different things. So can you please justify oh. what you really do? I am um, an elementary school teacher, and I yeah, teach kids. English yeah. as a second language. Okay, so you have a lot going on because they put me with you with children and then they put me with you up on a pedestal. So I don't know. What, I guess that's just a, a, a live a speaker. You're also would be a great mentor and coach, life coach. I just want you to know that your oh. ability to your ability to branch out and to help people, especially kids, is amazing. The way you speak is so mm -hmm. mesmerizing and so predictable and so great. And the way your appearance is, thank you. He, they said you're you're beautiful. Um, the way you are, uh -huh. it, it has a presence about you. Could you consider that taking a coach course and just yeah. going that way also? Because the guardians never was steering right. wrong, and you need to really do that. Really do that. You know, if you need any other help, just oh. click above my head. You should get. You know, readings are always great. That'll I can help you because you all you got a lot uh, yeah, going I'm on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, you got a okay, lot going so, on. So then. <laughs> So, so then the angels do see me switching my, possibly right. going full time. You think or absolutely, absolutely. You're going to get recruited by a school that's one, two, three, four towns away. Just so you know, it's more of, an, oh. of a middle school. It's more of a middle school. You might have an upscale a little bit than elementary, but it's like they they need a okay. position. You're going to go in part time again, but you're going to get like pick like that. And eat, oh, just, okay. please do that coaching okay. thing. I'm telling you, right? That, that's that's where it okay. is for you. Okay, love, just click above my head. Let's okay. talk more. You intrigue me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Bye-bye, love. Okay. Um, Bye. 323, Bye. thank you. 323-792-3050. Um, I have, I know everybody, that's the seventh. Um. Okay. Where am I starting, Tom? Where am I going? I did, Laura. Didn't I do, Laura? Hi, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. How are you, dear? I, I will get to everybody. I so promise. I so promise. Laura, what is the name of the person I will end up with the rest of my life? His name is Eric. And watch that leg. Thank you. Spirit guide say, watch the leg. It's blown up. And something about um, the medicine that you're taking. Hey, Tom. The medicine that you're taking uh, is, not, is not working. And, and the pain is just unbearable and and about something about allergies and something about hey hey you have carpet mites in your carpet you need to get that taken care of immediately immediately it's going to cause an infection you have an allergy relationship oh my god thank you thank you they said get that done okay laura please get that done um three two three seven nine two three oh five oh okay Hey, Kay, how are you? Ah, uh, hello. I'm trying to find out what is going on with what I feel and are seeing. Oh, so Kay, you want to get, thank you. You want to get in connection with, um, with your, your insight as far as your, what you see. Like, so you're standing there and you see the spirits and you're like next to you, like go zoom, 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 right? All through you. You have an, you have like this third eye they call where you have an ability to do it and you can go with it. You could try it. And there's also something going on financially with you and also job related. So I just need you. And what about, oh, okay. So a pension plan they bring up. I don't, I don't know. They just bring up everything. All right. So I hope I answered it. I'm hoping to find out what's going on 
with what I feel and are seeing. So I just, and then also there's a family member that desperately needs your help and desperately needs what's going on. And, and there's something about your world that's just rocking right now. There's a lot, a lot going on, but I would just go with your inside. I would go with what you need to go with and I would just have everything focused. Okay. Um, you can actually email me and I can let you know how to go forward with that. And there's a lot going on. If you have questions or you want a reading, just email me and let me know. Hey, Gordon. Hey, hey, wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh. Are we going to take calls or not? Yes, people... I'm sorry. I have like all these. So I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, but you I'm see, Shelly's off. here and she's been waiting almost 15 okay. minutes. Hi, Shelly. I'm sorry, Emma. Hi, Shelly. I get yelled at. See, I get yelled at. Go ahead, Shelly. Hey, Hello? this is, um, this is, <laughs> my name is Sherry, and I'm friends um, with Denise. Hey, how are you? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I just have Great. a question. Um, can you tell me if I have any messages from my mother or my brother? Well, your brother comes in right through your voice and says, number one, um, how many children do you have? I have three. Yeah, but the second the the second oldest is um what he is more concerned about at this point, and he always jumps in and tries to help out with them. And you need to really get into the fact of uh having some type of um constructive uh situation going on. Uh, like there's there's each one of your children are unique and different in a way, and they all have ability. And he says that you're mothering the best you could be, but the dad could step up just a little bit more and help out more because you're kind of like going through a lot right now, like your head spinning. And um, mom, thank you. Mom says that you done everything you have to do right. And do you have a fa do you have a, do you have a brother or sister? Because she brings in two other people that are still here, that are still yes, living. Do you have I siblings? Do. I have, I have a, a little sister that was born that would died. Um, with before right. Is that who I brings her born. in? All right. Because she's got a couple kids with her, so I think that there were hers, and that she said she wants me to tell you that she's got them. So she's going to, you know, and, and everything's going to be okay with you. You have to just reevaluate also your current situation in your life. And as far as your property, uh, there's something wrong with the land. There's something up with the land. And there's a, there's a part of that land that needs some kind of tending to. And um, so that's the message that they have. I mean, anything further, like I said, I mean, you know, thank you, Denise, for referring you. I really appreciate it. I had a great time with Denise when I was down there. Um, and uh, you can just book a reading or do more if you want to hear more from mom and dad but she's got the she got the kids but she loves what you do with your kids just that you have to spend more time like building also like your your life also because sooner or later the kids grow up and then you two are together do you know what i mean you got to just do a little bit more as far as like alone time that's all that's what he has to say okay she's um, gone. it's uh all right, for you. 323-792-3050. Do you want me to take another call, I want sir? you to go ahead and talk with Eva. Hi, Eva. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm okay. Well, what's up with you? What's up? Um, I'm, actually, my mom told me about you. I'm so excited to talk to you. Deborah Hall said <laughs> my, uh, my mom. <laughs> um, I just wanted to... Um, find out about um, a guy that I've been dating since 2009 um, right. and we're engaged and I wanted to know um, what you thought of our future it's kind of rocky <laughs> yeah it is rocky thank you so what's going on with you is that he's got all these doors open and he's got some junk in the trunk from the past left and he's quite flutitious at times but he's not doing anything that's not you know improper or anything like that I mean you've had a little mm -hmm. rockiness you had a little um both of you were a little bad at one point in the beginning, but I mean, he, he stayed somewhat way he is and then you got better and then sometimes you second guess it. So in order to, to make this mm -hmm. go and further it out, you guys need some kind of, you guys need to go see somebody and, and work out the details. Otherwise don't, you know, I wouldn't go down. Thank you. I wouldn't go down the aisle. They said, unless you worked it out, you need to work out some stuff. Okay. You need to trust sweetheart. You need to trust him. You have okay. to trust in order to marry and have commitment. I'm not saying it's not going to be a beautiful marriage. I'm just saying that, um, can you just email me and I'll give you a number of somebody that you could talk to in order, sure. in order to make sure that it, that, and get some help for this? Because I really feel that you, if you guys got the right help and got on the right road, you would be fine. Okay. Thank you so All much. right, my love? And don't worry about it. Just All email right. me and I'll give you a name of somebody that will help you out and you'll be fine. All right? 
Okay. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, my love. Bye. Three two three seven nine two three zero five zero. Um, call chat everybody. Uh, can I? Do you want me to take another? No, call go ahead not? and take take one of the chat, and we'll come back to uh, okay. Missy. All right. Okay. Um. All right, Missy. So Gordon. Uh, Gordon wants to know when I move, will I own or rent? Oh, Gordon, I already know that when you move, you're going to rent, and then you're going to own, and then you're probably going to have to stand off, and um, and you're also going to hook it up with somebody and helping her out tremendously. So I would rent and then because you're going to wind up together. So I would rent. And then when you get to Florida, I would rent. Thank you. When I, you, you're going to rent and then you're going to wind up buying with somebody else. So I would suggest that that's what you do. And um, I'm going to take a phone call now. Do you want me to sure, take a yeah, phone call? Yeah. Go ahead and talk with Missy. Hi, Missy. I love Missy. Hi, Hi Missy. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you doing? What's up? I'm doing good. I got a, I got kind of a crazy question for you, and I sure hope you can help me, you and your guardians. I have right. to find the title to my car, and I just have looked high and low. Can you help me? I couldn't understand you. You were going in and out. Where's the title to your car? Oh, yes, your title ma'am. to your car is when you go into your kitchen, there's a drawer that's underneath something. that, like, If you go, you walk, I see everything like that. No. Well, then tell me what it is. Oh. It's in the kitchen? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They say it's in the kitchen, but it's in a drawer that's underneath something of a green paper, like a green, like a flyer going thing. And it's like turned up, turned over, and it's in there, but it's stuck. So you need to really look there, just so you know. Okay. I'm pretty good at that. All right. All right, my All love. All right. All right, Thank baby. you so much. You guys have... All right, honey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. We find titles to cars. Well, we don't know. Okay. Guardians, you're with me. Curly. Hey, girl. What's up? Is there a chance my cousin will do a turnaround and beat cancer? That's a tough... Well, we can't answer that. We can't. I'm sorry. There, there are some things I... I sorry, Sid. I, I got... I. The guardians will not give me permission to answer for that. That's a situation of a, of a terminal issue. And I don't... I don't, we don't foresee like a big turnaround, but I don't want to, I can't justify. I always, I love you. I do everything I can for you, but we're not allowed. Is that okay, Tom? Yeah. All right. Um, next question. Jan from Sweden's in the house. Yeah. How you doing? Sweden's in the house. Okay. I just wanted, I uh, just wondered if the told, is that told? I think it's told. I'm sorry. You said told. Well, that she that's what it that is. Way. Amnon did not write these like this last week. Say toward. That's I what I was. That's thing. that's not a stewardess thing. Okay, maybe told something he'd like to tell me. I was wondering who. Her dad. I, I guess it's what she wrote. All right. Okay. Well, we know we got this. All right. So he wants you to know that you need to. I think we discussed last time, um, Janet, that we need to change the medication and the depression. The depression is a severe issue and sleeping is a big issue. He wants you to make sure that you get back to the clinic or the doctors. I know that the money is really, really rough right now. Oh, okay. So you need to get back to the doctors and explain to them that with the medication that you're on or taking and that what you're doing, um, it's not nine. It's not where it needs to take you because it's still a matter of being depressed and, and anxiety and i need to help you with that so i don't know how we can connect in sweden but i think i offered you to do an im and, and to talk to me on chat if you would please tomorrow so we can get into this clear because i like to justify what you're on and, and i'm not a doctor nor the, the guardian's a doctor uh just the middle if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be who i am um so here we go tammy uh are my parents my parents-in-law both okay now is there anything they needed to say or anything we needed to do for their finales oh so sorry of your loss i'm really so sorry he's all right but she's all whacked out okay so uh, <laughs> where's her clothes all right what do we do with the clothes um uh, what do we do with Whoever picked her outfit, if she picked it or whatever, she wasn't around. She saw herself and she's like, oh, I look old. She did everything, everything okay. These were fine. But there's something about either it was a will or a testament and that somebody needs to um, needs to come forward and allow everything to just work out its finalization of everything. So 
I know that the family is going to be in an uproar when I say this. Thank you. So now you put me in a pickle. But everybody just can't get everything. You just got, Tammy, you need to take care of your family and, and everything like that. And and everything's going to be all right. But And she's wor- and she wants to know where her, um, the one necklace is with the medallion on it. And she wants to know where her ring is. So she'd like to know if, if any, and what granddaughter, if you have a granddaughter, um, that was nice that you gave her what you gave her. Okay, it's uh, 323-792-3050. How about How you talk to Brittany? Hey, Britt. Hey, Hi. Brit. How are you, lovey? What's up? Um, I was just wondering if Andrew had any messages for me. Andrew does have a message for you. That's that's why I'm smiling. Um, Andrew wants you to know that uh, out of all the, the people in his life that he ever knew and was around, you were the best thing ever, just so you know. And that there's not a day that doesn't go by that he doesn't follow and watch you everywhere you go. I could cry when I say this to you because it's so much of a love, a, a love hate relationship, just so you know. Um, but he wants to know that, and what you're doing in your life right now is, uh, is great, but there's going to be some changes made. So I need you to understand that when change comes, um, maturity. What so kind of changes? Um, your life is, is about to change financially and about as far as your structure, as far as like a housing development or something like that. Thank you. Andrew wants you to also know that he'll be there for you to help you out with that too. There's different things going on with your life right now that's just changing up. So Andrew's there to, I mean, there's a lot to, to throw out today. So if you want to hear more about him, I mean, you're welcome to a reading, then contact me. We could talk more. He's got more to say. But there's things that are happening in your life that are just turning about and doing a, doing a 360. Whether you want to know it or not, it's happening. And Andrew is, is definitely one of your guardians, just so you know. He chose and he will always be with you. So it is what it is. He loves you. All right, give me a call. Give me a All right. chat. Thank you so much. It's uh, 323-792-3050. Uh, can I take a chat question there, Amnon, or is there somebody that has been waiting a while? There, There's uh, two people waiting, but go ahead. Okay, so um, okay, so I have to do my time. I'm, all right, Linda. Hey, Linda. Uh, should I start looking for an in-home care agency? Yes. Oh, no. I know she was going to ask that. All right. Yes. They said yes. And uh, you should do that ASAP. Okay. Um, because we know that uh, you need help. Okay. And, and there's something about to happen and you're going to have some kind of transition of life that happens with the uncle, with the husband. And then I think Gordon will be up soon to help out with everything. So, and he's, he's a great guy. He's such a great guy, Lynn. Oh my God. You know, you got a good egg. Got a good egg. He's got a lot of to do with his his mother's got a lot of issues right now going on too. So just remember something. Start that. Start looking now because there's a waiting list for help and uh, insurance issues. So I just before I go on to the like of my public page, um, I want to uh, go on. So I'll take that call, Am. Go ahead and talk with Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Carrie. It's Suzanne. <laughs> I love you. How are you? I'm good. Um, all right. I didn't know which question I was going to ask, but this is it. Um, I've been living where I live for eight and a half years. I signed my eighth lease in January. And wow. I still have all the boxes that I originally moved here with because I feel all these eight years as if if I would have got rid of them at any one point in time, I'd be right. moving and then I'd need boxes. And it's so hard to get good, clean boxes and I have no way of getting them. So I keep <laughs> the boxes. So what I want to know is, am I going to be here indefinitely, or is there a move in my future? And if there is, when and where am I going? (laughs) Okay, number one, you're structured, and you live very humbly, and that's where you're going to be for a long time. And also the spirit and everything that you're going through, they kind of dig it there. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't like go anywhere else at this point. And I think financially, it's a good, it's a good stay. It's just that there's people around you that somehow just don't seem to match you. I, I You're so unique, Suzanne, that I don't know if anybody could match you. You know what I'm saying as far as who you are? I mean, you, you live a very, very, you know, a structured life and, and you have things going on and, and, and you've let things go. And you if you bring positivity in your life, you have that deep, deep, deep visions that are amazing. And I think your house is just fits it. 
so thank you the guardians are like tell her she's staying so i don't want to do that long term for you because if a decision comes up where you just want to move the hell away then that's up to you <laughs> your, your, your house your house is your house got it going on it's it's where you need you want to know be. what I really feel comfortable here, and I have made my little nest here, but there's n- <laughs> you know why I'm still here? There's no reason to leave. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't a reason to leave. You know, it it's, it's like, and, you know, people I, like coming here because this place is so me, and it is me, and is, I don't see myself moving, so I should get rid of the boxes. Get rid of the boxes. Call it a day. I think once you get rid of, thank you. They said once you get rid of the boxes, you'll feel even more homey there. Like it's like this is it. This is where I'm laying my hat, and that's that. Like the un, the reassuring of you throwing away those boxes is reassuring that your life is going to be set there. Unless you want to move. Unless what? <laughs> Tom goes well. Unless you want to move to New Jersey, then you got a place to come. Oh, so. you know, I, I I the thing <laughs> of it is, I I really want to. I I really would like to see the ocean again before I die. <laughs> well. You know what? You could uh, let me tell you something. I, I'm not gonna blurt it out. I love Jersey, but when I fly into North Carolina, my husband creeps, queens, crinses when I say this. But I fly into North Carolina and I just take a deep breath and go I'm home too. So you want to talk about a beautiful place to 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 go to and a beautiful place to live? You should go to North Carolina. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And the people there. I've never been south of Atlantic City. Oh my God, oh Susanna, you gotta you you have not. I mean, like, there's, I'm sure there's even nice, nice, I mean, but I'm just saying, I love Jersey, but when I fly into North Carolina, I guess because I, I frequent there, and I, and I have, I have strong friends there that I love and, and I care about, and I just, I just feel like I love it there. When I leave there, I like, I had tears in my eyes when I left there, and I have great friends, Fran, and I, Anthony, I stay with over there, but I go around, and I go do my show in the studio and stuff, and I've built, I built a life there, too, so... I just was talking to Mazard about, like, you know, what we're going to do with that and, and eventually. So, anyway, um, yeah, you're going to be staying, so let me get back to the show. Uh, not about me. Okay, but, but listen, um, congratulations on your new show. Oh, thank you. It's going to be awesome. Are you going to are you going to join us on Tuesday? You going to try? Uh, is it this Tuesday? No, it's probably going to start next Tuesday. I'll, I'm going to put out everything, and I'll IM you with that stuff so that, you know, maybe you could let everybody know. And what time is your show? All right, my show is going to be on Tuesday at 8 o'clock on Sepia Radio, S-E-P-I-A, um, and, it, and you're going to see banners that are going to be put up. I'm still having this this show. This show's not going anywhere. We're just adding it. Okay, is your new show an hour? Yeah, and it might be an hour okay. and a half if I don't, if I don't drop live. Um, well, my husband wants to like something. Well, you know, I have something. to. Go on alternate Tuesdays, I have to watch. I have to tune into the Mike and the Morp show. So, oh, I know that, but I'm going to be also on that show again too. I'll let you know. So whatever. You're okay. Yeah, do, but you they can... don't come on till nine. Yeah. So you can just maybe half an hour me, half an hour them. But if you know, yeah, you'll be able to go there. So whatever you want to do. I mean, you're going to be a busy woman. <laughs> tune into everybody's show. Hey, you know what? But I, I well, thank you so much for for tuning in all the time you do and do what you do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, everybody. Oh, you're Susie. welcome. Have a nice night. All right, baby. Thank you. Um, it's three two three seven nine two three zero five zero. I'm gonna take a real another question here if I can. Um, all right, these are from my public page. Let me see. Uh, Mother Mary, what direction is my life going in? I am pulled in so many directions. Where do I go? Oh, wow. So, uh, all right, so your, your mother, you have a mother figure that's, that comes through with that with the guardians, and she says the reason why you're pulled so many ways is because you're in, inconsistent. You have to finish something you start. You've done a lot of things. You've made your life the way it is, but you have to be more consistent. I'm not saying anything. More consistent as to how you do things. And there's something definitely going on with your, um, is it a car? Oh, the brakes. Something about your car and the brakes. So you need to get that looked at and and checked. It's the back ones? Okay, the back ones. Okay, you have to be in safety is an issue. But um, there's a mother figure that comes in here strong. And it shows me, is that where your house is? All right, shows me your house and shows me that there's something, there's something going on. There's something going on, whether it be 
and it's underneath it's flushing oh it's water so there's some kind of leak or something going on with your house you just need to know that or wherever you're living and uh, you need to get that checked ASAP um, I have for my public page I have a couple questions do we have um, do we have anybody that's on the phone waiting Amnon before yeah, I go to these questions? we have Jeff waiting okay I'll talk to Jeff go ahead hi Jeff hi Jeff hey Carrie how are you I'm great. Hi. I hear I hear you're doing really, really, really smashing, my friend. You're doing great. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's wonderful. Uh, I, I know. I was about, you're on my page, to say that Jeff was huh? on a reality show, everybody, and you have to tune in. Jeff, can you please say the name of that show and a date for everybody that's anxiously waiting to, to view it? Yes, it's called Barter Kings. It's on A&E. And I believe the show is supposed to air on, on or about the 16th of August. There you go. Unbelievable. And you got this car now that you're redoing that you just met up with a guy and just the Guardians just are throwing yeah. everything at you, huh? Amazing. Oh, my Amazing. gosh. You're not kidding. I mean, <laughs> after eight years, this guy just shows up and brings wow. me this classic car to restore. And it's Amazing. just like awesome. He brought it here the other day. I, I mean, that's what happens when you... Uh, when you have a good pocket psychic, I call it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. So <laughs> it, it makes it real. It makes it real. And and everybody, he's live proof that all you got to do is um, it's just like call in, chat, book a reading, and life could change immediately. Jeff's life, I don't want to keep bringing up your past because I hate to go backward, but you all know that Jeff really was in a tough bind right now, and he, and he spent what he had on a reading, and mm -hmm. I appreciate that. But I said, geez. The guardians are like, we got to get this guy turn his life around. His, his son is a is an amazing amazing survivor of a gunshot wound from a from a gang. I mean, it's just it's just the outcome is amazing. And if anybody needs any type of um, you know, a structure plan, uh, Jeff was is willing, uh, correct, my friend, to uh, help out those who want to yeah. talk about. Okay. And what's your website oh, yes, again? If they're asking, what is your website? Oh, repjeff60 at yahoo.com. Okay. If you want to talk to Jeff and you want to find out how you do recover from tragic situations in your life, um, he is a great example. Nine. He's a great example of how one survives, just not because of just talking to us, but because he survived before talking to us. But we just kind of the guardians did it, not me. We, they just kind of like helped them along. So I, everything else is, is going your way, Jeff, and everything's going to happen. I mean, I see nothing but good for you, my friend. I just would love to meet you one day. Oh, I'd love yeah. that. That would be so awesome. You're just fantastic. I, know that. I mean, it, I know. it's just incredible. I know. Incredible. Well, <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling in tonight, and I wish you well with your son and with all that going on. And uh, I got your email. I, I returned it, so do keep on contact. I love when you call the show, and I, everybody loves to hear you. You're kind of like a household oh, sure. name Thank now. you so much. <laughs> I like to enjoy it. <laughs> aww, aww. Well, you got a fan club, my man. You got a fan club. So, again, you could, you could reach so out. I'm so excited. You could, you could see Jeff live on a reality show. It doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon, my love. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye, <laughs> lovey. Bye. Um, it's 323-792-3050. Uh, Unique Chris wants to know, my biological mother was allowed. Was allowed out on the condition she gets home health and medication monitoring because of all the problems she has mentally just given up and and you an update things are looking up is this an update yeah he wanted to give you an update oh thank you chris thank you so much see an update that everything i said it's working right yeah. all right yay it's a good thing on carrie psychic cafe uh okay so uh, on the timeline on my public page Harley Webb wants to know is there anyone in spirit who has a message for me guardians Haley, Haley. Uh, it looks like Harley Haley was determined that you couldn't read her I am gonna read her no but she was determined that you couldn't read her she wrote that in your timeline well did she well Harley how about this one uh, your spirit guide number one it's a, it's a young man that has died and came to you whether it be a friend or somebody that has been in your past in high school number two the grandmother that steps in on your father's side she oh no gee w great great will be definitely the one that actually comes in and helps you as far as number one a driving yellow doesn't mean red and you need to definitely definitely think about like 
doing something like web pop or web pass or something like that as far as um, casting and doing what you do for a living. You need to brand and you need to make yourself known, okay? And I see all artsiness. I see everything going on. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want you to know that if you don't, like, check your bank statement and your bank account, you're like, something's not right with the with the numbers uh, just so you know i know you go online and you do all your stuff online and you're real crafty that way but you uh need to settle down you need to um put some things on paper and as far as uh what you're going to do as far as a list also of what you need to do new with your life you need to uh change you need to bring out some negative or bring in some positive i can definitely help you and uh we can help going and i'm sorry you feel i couldn't read you but the guardians did they didn't seem to have a problem whether they did or not so um Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Deborah Rose, I am troubled by many things. Okay, so Deborah, on the chat questions, on the timeline, you're going to have to book a reading. So I'm just going to answer the one. A lawsuit involving um, Jerry De Sandusky, the guy that went to Sandusky, that I have no idea on how that will go. Okay, so I'm just going to let you know, Deb, that number one, you got to book a reading because this is very involved, okay? And I know your other son's in prison for something he did not do. That we need to do. But Sandusky, um, it's all about the lawyer. It's all about what he wants in order to – there's so many people that are against this guy. And they're, thank you. There's so much going on, and it's your lawyer. You have to go and say, look, I need this done. I want this done. I can't do this anymore. I need a finish. And I'm so sorry that he was hurt by him. Um, it's just – it's just horrible, Tom. Horrible, horrible. Wow, horrible. And uh, just for you, a younger son. Um, I know that he did not do what he did, and he's in jail. But I, I definitely, you know, that's a real, that's a real private issue. So can you just please book a reading and let's just get this resolved? I want to help with your son with the prison thing because I think that that's just terrible. And then is there another call that's waiting? Go, go ahead and talk with Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Hi. How are you? Hey, what's Hi, up? <laughs> How are you? I'm awesome. It's a great night. We're rocking. I love it. What can I do for you? <laughs> okay, up? so I have one question for you. And I have an answer. We have an answer. Go for it. Okay, I know you do. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so I miscarried on the on May fifteenth. Okay, and uh, I want to know sorry. if I've got a baby in, in the future that that is a healthy baby. Absolutely. The only thing about the reason why you, thank you, the reason why, you, oh, and basically, by the way, your uh, grandmother has your baby that you lost, just so you know. Um, do you know what it was? Do you know what it was? No, I was only 12 weeks old. Yeah, you had a son. She's got your boy, she said. So if you can name him, that would be wonderful. Uh, and she said, well, you'll see him one day, but not too soon because you're not, you got to give birth to a girl. I'm just going to let you know that you're, you're the, the, you have a lazy ovary, whether they told you or not. And, and your husband, you know, he's not, he's, he's all that, he's all manly, but there's sometimes that it's not all that potent. So you guys need to get in position with each other because everything will work out. And they, they're telling me September will be a great month for you to conceive. Thank you. But we're not, we're not doctors, what? but we're just trying to go it. <laughs> What? So we're just, hey, Carrie, what month did you say? September, my love. Okay. okay. Actually, 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 they're saying September 14th, you should like kind of like do the deed, just so you know. They'll be, <laughs> they'll be rocking some babies. So <laughs> All right. And uh, she's, got your, so she's, awesome. got your, she's got your She's got She's got your son. Don't worry about it. She's got him. So you're all set. Just have a girl now. And, 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 and Carrie, I just got to tell you, my, my mother-in-law is Lily Hansen. Oh, hey! And, and she says thank you. Oh, <laughs> and it'll no be her, problem. And it'll be her. It'll be her first grandbaby. I know. She'll get it. You'll get it, Lil. You'll get it. It's all for you. You'll get it. No. Just, just remember to have fun in September. <laughs> it's on me. The guardians oh, say we're gonna okay. get. We're gonna get. We're gonna get Kyle too. We're gonna get Kyle home. Thank you so much. Yes, Love y'all. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> They're great. Their whole family oh. comes and watches my show. How could you do that, great, Tom? And Lily always defends me against Stephanie. Lily, Lily actually is like like one of the family now with everybody. Oh my God, just tears in my eyes. Okay, Mary May, yes, um, Mary uh, May, yes, Sister May, May go said to contact you and let me tell me what I need to know. What? Who's that, Mother? Um, I guess it's Mother Mary saying something like, uh, Sister Marta said to contact you and. 
Let you tell me what I, you... Oh, about your daughter. Oh, hell yeah. About the daughter. Oh, you need a reading. Absolutely. Please speak above me. We need to really concentrate on your daughter as far as what's going on with her life, her judgments, and what she's doing as far as what the, um, the disorders. And, and if I got the right sister, I hope I do. Can you please click above my head? And um, I was just with Margo for an hour, and we just had a real deep conversation in North Carolina about this whole situation. And if you're this, I mean, there's two... There's two girls that I'm, I, I'm hoping that this is the mother that the girl that I really need to get to, the young girl. Um, but they both have kind of situations, but one basically isn't as bad as the other. But this one I hope is like, I want to help you. One's a gymnast, one's, one's a really big athlete and um, really going places, but needs to like get themselves out of a bad situation that they're doing with friends. So uh, also, um, Scott, from, La Chai, um, from my uh, public page, please everybody like it. I am living in a wheelchair. Oh, this is the wheelchair one. I'm living with the wheelchair physically paralyzed. What do you see as far as me getting out of this chair? Well, when I read your first question, I will say that, um, and I know that the soulmate has left you. Number one, she wasn't your soulmate. Number two, um, the chair is, it, it, I'll thank you. The chair, it doesn't have to be permanent and, and it doesn't have to be the ultimate decision, but you're going to have to really, really fight, fight, fight for this fight because there's something that's also neurologically besides being the paral paralegic that's going on that's not defying you walking so you need to fight that thank you you need to fight that with this and get that she wasn't your soulmate and you're definitely going to be able to find somebody but you need to take care of this first don't worry about that i know that she took all your money she took everything but what comes around goes around karma is a beach so please do yourself a favor and do that for me uh is anybody on the line waiting there am or we're good no ma'am okay good all right so what oh my goodness it's 851 all right sophie um hey i was wondering if you could tell me if my best friend is okay she died 15 years ago it's another timeline it's a timeline thing okay timeline public page, timeline public page okay where is she oh, okay oh well, she's okay but she's with her mom and she's going to be staying with her mom and um Okay. All right, she's staying with her mom, but she comes in once in a while with you, Sophie, because she wants you to realize that what you're doing and the life choices that you make as far as partnerships are not exactly on the up and up. So you need to, like, get yourself together with as far as who you're with and, and ho how you're being treated. She hates that you're being treated and mistreated that way. So please, please change. Um, I keep uh, – Ned – I keep being told it's good for me to move, but I'm not sure where. I don't feel energy behind it. Or do you have any advice? Of course I have advice. Guardians always have advice. Ned. <laughs> Ned. Ned, there's so many, so much going down with you, and you're so worried about the move. You got a lot of issues. You got some things going on with a job. You got your things going on with with a, with a family member with health. You got a different with. But I definitely. Uh, can you? You're not going to, I know, you're going to move. We know you're going to move, but you're not going to move like right this minute. I mean, you're going to have to figure out your game plan here because something's going to come up that's going to keep you here a little longer. And it's also a different job title. Thank you. Job title. I couldn't get that out fast enough. Thank you very much. So a job title, a job title, something due, due to you, new to you in a job. And uh, thank you. And that's what exactly what they're saying to me. It's all not pushing it. Job, job, and then job. You are going to move. I did ask Betsy's question. No, did you answer Betsy's question? Yes, I did. I did answer Betsy's question. I did, and I lost. Uh-oh. I get yelled at. There you go. Okay, Betsy, hey. Should I, now, get, Betsy. <laughs> should I now get Should I get a job this summer? So if so, where should I look? Hey, Betsy, thank you for chatting and waiting so long. Ah. All right, so caretaking. Let's talk about that, Bets. Um, let's talk about the fact is that it shouldn't be something that's too much of a physical aspect for you due to the situation. It should be something that's just just a summer summer type of program somewhere. And I would see more into the field of like medical as far as like you know taking care of and being with. Um, I would definitely say that you can go look on it. Thank you. And thank you very much. And they told me that not too far from you is a medical facility and they have like an elderly program in there and they have like a hospice on the other side, which don't, I don't really think you should go. You probably would be great at it. Um, you have a kind ear and a soft tone and they want to know that they want you to know that they respect you for it. 
Thank you. I said it right. They respect you. So that's where we are with that. And we're coming to the end, end, end of the show. So, okay, uh, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi. What's going on with your with the pain in your right leg? Thank you. I have always believed in mediums. Aww. There you go. See? Proof is in the pudding, baby. Everybody's saying it. Carrie's saying, yep, they rocks it. We rocked the house again tonight, everybody. Holy moly, we did good. It doesn't matter what the numbers are. The, the producer said it. It's a matter how many people we help. And that's yep. what the Guardians and I do. Right, Amnon? Right, and uh, Jeff is back. Okay, I'll talk to Jeff. I just have to close up the... Hi, Jeff. Question about pain in the leg? Yeah, she said thank you. That's what I t said before. Uh, it's about my friend who passed away. Hey, Jeff. I'm sorry I didn't take your question before. I'm being, conf I'm getting oh, a little me. confused and out of, out of my way. So what's up? Well, actually, my friend PJ passed away uh, about a year and a half ago, and I just want to know how he's doing, if, if he's got any uh, messages for me or anything. I actually, do we have him here? Not at this moment. I'm sorry. We do not, Jeff. Hmm. I, I, could, I can definitely email you probably after the show. And he'll come through, okay. uh, but he's not really, you know, no, I'm so sorry. He didn't come through. Huh. So I'm very he sorry, but I'll, e I'll email you. <laughs> if he comes through later on, I'll email you. That's not a problem, all right? Oh. Thank you well, so much. You. All right, lovey. I'll, I'll, I'll email you. I'm sure he'll come through, oh. all right? Thank you. Okay, take, take care, Carrie. Thank you so right. much. Bye-bye. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Elizabeth, hi. Hi, Carrie. What's going on with the pain in my leg? Oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I thought she was. This, I thought I did Elizabeth with the pain in. Oh, that was Laura. I'm so. She were right. Guardians are like you. Okay, so the pain in your leg. Underneath the thank you. Underneath there in the lower lower part is a is a is a small clot, and I I only I, I'm saying this. I'm not going to try to make you nervous or anything like that. And the numbing of the toes are going to happen or happening is that it's behind something. And it's like actually putting a pressure point on the circulation of your pain and it's throbbing. So you need to go get that checked out ASAP because I believe that there's a small, thank you. They believe, and I believe that there's, say I, they believe it's a small clot that's in the back of your leg. So I just want you to say that, um, I want to, I want you to, I want to save you with that. And that, cause I don't know what clots, I, I know that sometimes they could, um, they definitely could, you know, go into something else. So I don't think they, they don't see that. They said, don't get worried, but just get it checked out because it's important. Um, I want to say a little shout out real quick because it's really important before the end of my show is that this network, this network, thank you, Tom. This network has other things than this wonderful psychic show. Okay. There's computers to pay now on Sundays, nine to 12 or whenever that these four guys do it. They do everything. Health in Deborah Brooke, Mondays, 11 to 12. Um, Breaking Free, Marilyn Shanning, Mondays, 8 to 9. Um, and Awakening Your Brilliance with Julia Seibert. She is amazing. She's on a Wednesdays from 9 to 10. Anybody from Deb to, to I am not with computers, Deb to health, anything health, holistic, I send people there to go just to watch her show because she's just so impressive to me. She's just brilliant, and her husband is brilliant. Uh, Breaking Free, Marilyn, she will teach you and show you how to break free. This, this also, the spirit of the woman is just amazing. She has the concept. She's like a life coach to me and a really good dear friend. And then we have Reawakening Your Brilliance with Julie. I, talking about procrastinating, cleaning out your closets, doing everything, getting everything done. Jules has the, 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 the way to do it, and she can do it for you. And um, if you take notice, everybody has our shows at, at a time where everybody can watch them. So Nissan Communications is not all just about this. It's about everything. They can help you with a little bit of everything. And I just want to say thank you to Amnon, Tom, Nick, and everybody who came to my show today um, in order to get help. I hope I helped everybody. And, again, we're going to be starting a, um, another show on Tuesdays at SEPA. Uh, Sepia Radio, and it will be uh, 8 o'clock um, to 9, and we will put out the banner and start rolling for that. And don't forget my show here, because everybody that carries over this show, we want to have over this show so we can grow out to the world. Everybody that's been different countries that's tuned into the room tonight, I want to say thank you. Um, thank you so much for my family and my friends and everybody that did it. And also, anybody has information regarding a Kyle Frank Tolly? He was missing from August 18, 2001 at uh, Pine Flats Hot Springs. Springs, Idaho. He was abducted. Please, let's get this done. Let's get somebody to talk to me and call me, and let's make this happen. Let's bring Kyle home. Love the family, and this D's one's from you. Huh? And where's Dee's question? We have one more question before we end. Dee. Hi, Dee. Um, I just wanted to know if my life will ever start. She also said, I feel like I need to start a job. Yeah. I'm so happy with working with, with the paranormal field. Hey, Dee. 
Yeah, because she's gifted. She's got so much going on. But you know what, Dee? You need to brand... You need, oh, my God. You need to, like... Thank you. You have a special heal healing. You could heal. You just need to get into the right direction in order to do that. If you put your mind to it and you meditated and you really did this, you could make this work. What's that called? Rike? Rike? Rike. Rike. If you did something like that as with, with, with far as healing and you have that second sense, you know what's going down, you could bring it all together. And I want you to strongly do that. I want you to start because that's where your niche is. That's where you need to brand yourself. It's all about branding, baby. Branding. As we close this show, I want to say it's 9 o'clock. They and want to know the website for Sepia Radio. I just want to give it to her, but can you give it to it? What, Sepia Radio? It's www.sepinc.com slash radio. Slash radio. And that's where you can go to for Tuesday more from 8 to 9. And more details to follow. Jen Mitchell is my graphic artist, and she'll be developing a concept of banners and all this other great stuff to put out for the show. And it's just a branch off of where we started here at New Sun Communication. So uh, we're rocking it. We're going to start the show so that more people in the world can um, listen and uh, join in and ask a question and change your life. Now, you could do us here a favor at Carrie Psychic Cafe. Um, if you know somebody that needs to get their banner across my show, I reach so many people every week. We need sponsors. Sponsors are great for Nissan Communications and also great for our shows. And anybody that's interested, they can contact me at my website, and we could go on and uh, we can go further with that. Um, everybody, I want you to tell somebody about the show tonight and um, instruct somebody in order what we do here, because the more we tell and the more we help the more people we the more questions and we help if you miss somebody and you lost a loved one and you need to reconnect because you haven't heard the voice you haven't heard anything you need to have that closure you need to click above my head and get a reading we do skype phone uh, facetime i do group readings events uh, parties i do it all but it is getting booked so i need you to just like you know give us that web request and we can get everything going i have one more question real quick before we end the show uh the second question for liz is where and is um what is the best direction to take with my relationship with my mother fran my mother fran that's what you said what is the best direction to take with my relationship with my mother <sighs> ah fran was my step grandmother's name all right just brought me to a little bit of a see of this um i think that th thank you we know that um it's been a rough road with with her and i know that there are some things that are taken out of context and you don't really understand all what's going on in her head and it's really a tough situation so if you gingerly take steps take the steps thank you take the steps in order to shit there's like you're tripping up it's getting late um then you'll be able to focal and, and be a part of her life and, and, and try to understand that and don't take things personal because there's something not right. Thank you. There, there's something not right with her here. So we need to like take steps in order to do so. So um, I want to say thank you again to everybody. And we're going to be here at the same time next week. Um, we don't want to confuse everybody. Nissan Communications. Thank you, Amnon. Thank you. I said thank you to Amnon and Tom for the chat and Nick for the calls. And I want to say that we will see you next week on Sunday, 8 o'clock live again. We are not going anywhere. Tell somebody. Book a reading. Thank you so much. And you have a wonderful night. Thank you to my family. Are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Sundays 9 a.m. till noon, Carrie's Psychic Cafe with Carrie Silkowski, Sundays 8 till 9 p.m., Health In with Debbie Brooke, Mondays 11 a.m. till noon, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Mondays 8 till 9 p.m., Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert. Wednesdays, 9 till 10 p.m. And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by thatvidblasterguy.com, carolinaapparel.com, and deltaforce.net. <laughs>